Stando per noi. Good morning everyone and welcome to Seven Days Chinese New Year before the year of the monkey began on 18 February 2016 and the Chinese calendar it will be the year 4714. The Chinese calendar is made up of a circle of 12 years each year is named after an animal. These animals are rat, ox, tiger. Dragon, separate, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, According to the Chinese legend, the 12 animals argue one day as the two who was the head of the cycle of the years. The gods were asked to decide and they held a contest. Whoever first reached the opposite bank of the river would be the first, and the rest of the animals would receive the years according to their finish. All the twelve animals gathered at the river by Pendleton. Unknown to the ox, the rat had jumped up on his back as the ox was about to jump on shore. The rat jumped off the ox's back and won the race. Yeah, yeah, won. The, the pig who was really lazy ended up last. <laughs> You're lazy. That is why the rat is the first year of the animal cycle. The ox is the second and the pig is last. If a person is born in the year of the monster, they are said to be very clever, what would you do? <coughs> by thinking through difficult problems. You are also highly suggestible and well-liked. In the days coming up to New Year, how to get clean from top to bottom, the aim is to sweep out any bad luck from the old year and clean the way for good luck. It is bad luck to clear on New Year's Day itself. Brushes and dustpans will be put away before New Year. Years day so, so that the new arrival can't be swept away. also have their hair cut before New Year's Day. This is a symbol of good luck and fresh start. Decorations made from the red and gold paper 
at home down the doors sweeping good luck. The colour red is bucket and the gold represents wealth. During Chinese New Year, Red Claws can walk, walk and visit Sammy to family and friends. It's a good time to be friendly to others and forget all the arguments. Children receive lucky red packets containing sweets or money from their parents or grandpa grandparents. However, it is seen as rude to open the envelope in front of the person who is given it to. A popping food is your housing, which are dumplings boiled in water. A coin is sometimes hidden in one of the dumplings. It is a thought to be lucky to be the person who finds the coin. Found a coin! Yes! <laughs> to keep on until midnight when there are fireworks and firecrackers which are meant to scare off the evil spirit.
spirit will be frightened but away by their reflection. As the lion runs along the street, he moves from place to place, looking for vegetables such as lettuce, which are hung above the doors of houses or business hidden in the leaves. In a red packet of money, the lion eats the lettuce and red packet then scatters lettuce leaves to symbolise a fresh start for for the new year and the spreading of good luck. and loads in that. First thing I noticed was the way that you'd all set yourselves up in terms of the learning. Now how long has it taken you, Year 7, to put that presentation together? Easy. Easy, but how long did it take you? About Glad it was eat gone? Three weeks. Three weeks. So there's three weeks of learning. We can see the PowerPoint, we can see the acting that's been happening, we could see the reading out loud, which is one of the hardest things to do, and all of that performed in front of an audience. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. I'd learnt something. There's lettuce everywhere, uh, Bradley, that you've thrown everywhere. And not only was it a brilliant performance in which we've all learned a lot, but I also got my shoes clean. Which was absolutely brilliant. And I think we'll give the Year 7 another huge round of applause, please. And I did notice the year of the monkey soon. The monkey was Bradley, was that correct? Yes, that's right. Absolutely brilliant. Um, but just on the reading, I'll just finish on this point. Do you know there's, there's a number of things that people are very nervous about doing. There's a number of fears that people have. Heights are one of them, spiders are one of them, but also in the top three, the biggest fears people have is speaking in public. And I'm not sure when I was in year seven if I'd have been able to stand up there and read to an audience this big. I'm not sure whether I could have stood around the outside and been able to do that and been able to speak or been able to come in and be a dragon or be able to get into a cupboard and act out in front of other people. I just don't think in year seven I could have done that. So I'm going to say I'm very proud of every single person here, to our musicians, thank you very much, to all the um, students who've taken part, all the things we've done, but also a huge round of applause please to the staff. Who was involved? Mr McKenzie, Miss Johnson and Miss Harvey as well. Big round of applause for the staff. Brilliant again. So are they going to get some kind of reward for this? Have some Chinese food tomorrow. Chinese food. Who put your hand up if you've not had Chinese food before? 
Okay, fantastic. Well, enjoy it. Because I've seen great drama from this lot. So I remember coming to the drama last time yeah. when you were impersonating me and you're doing a better job of me than I do. <laughs> um, and then seeing this again today is brilliant. So one big round of applause to finish off. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. For coming in. Thank you. Do we have to clean your talk? <laughs> yeah. Bad luck, that. Yeah. Bad luck. Oh, is it bad luck? Yeah. Great. Don't tell the cleaners that. Well done, guys.